Hello everyone, it's Ozerifon here, and today we're going to be doing Talladega predictions. We're back, Super Speedway Racing, and what I like about Super Speedway Racing, or Restricted Plate ra Racing, you, s you could say, or I should be saying, well, everyone has to be right behind them, each other to be in a lead draft. But, then again, when predicting this video, it took me a long time, a lot of bold predictions, because everyone is in the lead draft. So it's almost impossible to guess who's going to come what place. So let's begin then. Winning the poll is Daniel Suarez. Daniel Suarez kind of comes in here with an extra boost of confidence because he runs so well here. He led, um, he led, um, during the fall race of the uh, Talladega until he was taken out by Chase Elliott. Trevor Bain is going to start second. He's always really good at restrictor plate racing. Ricky Stenhouse Jr., same here. Um, really good at restrictor plate racing. Chase Elliott, Brad Keselowski, 4th and 5th. 6th place is Jimmy Johnson, 7th. Kevin Harvey, 8th. Austin Dillon, and 9th is Paul Menard. Paul Menard runs really well at restricted plate races. Um, this year, he ran in the top 10 during Daytona. So I don't see why he wouldn't start in the top 10. And 10th place would be Kyle Busch. Stage 1, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. is the defending race winner. So, and he's really good at restricted plate racing, so you know. Trevor Bain is going to come second. Chase Elliott third, Jimmy Johnson fourth. Kyle Busch, really close to winning last year. Daniel Suarez loses 5 spots. He's not really that good at restricted plate racing. He's not really good at that, ra that good at racing. However, I wouldn't say he's terrible either. Although, I should move him up a bit. I mean, he's been getting better. Kevin Harvick, Brad Keselowski, Trix Jr., and Joey Logano. Round out your top ten of stage one. Stage two. Somebody who has made a winless streak. Jimmy Johnson. He has broken his 25 win winless streak. And now has done 27 after Phoenix. So this ain't a good time for Jimmy Johnson. So he finally gets a stage win. Trevor Bain comes second. Kyle Busch comes third. Stenhouse fourth. Suarez fifth. Suarez is going to stick in the top five for a little while. Chase Elliott sixth. Brackislowski seventh. Logano eighth. Harvick ninth. And joining in the top ten, Denny Hamlin. Probably the... He's really good at this restricted plate racing. At the end of the race, Jimmy Johnson is going to come up top, and it's going to be Hendrick top three. Jimmy Johnson, followed by William Byron out of nowhere in the top ten, and Chase Elliott. So they're going to be a big one, catching up a lot of cars. So, you know, a lot of car not many cars are going to get through. So, you know, you always got to incorporate the big one. So that is how Paul Menard and Chris Buescher get their first points of the year. Well, top ten of the year. Well, they already have a top ten. Both of them. Denny Hamlin comes seventh. And it's a Joe Gibbs seventh through ten. With Denny Hamlin, Daniel Suarez, Kyle Busch, and then Eric Jones. So yeah, Jimmy Johnson wins at Talladega. Finally breaks his winless streak. Yeah, his winless streak going up to 33 races, I guess, about. It's not good for Jimmy. But he won the race. So yeah. He got his first win of the year. And he's looking for the championship. Can he do it? Well, we'll have to see. Alright guys, so this is the end of the video. Make sure to subscribe, like, answer in the comment section below. Tell me who do you think is going to get in the top 10 in the Talladega race. Also make sure to hit that notification bell as well as sharing the video with your family and friends. And make sure to check out this other content for more stuff from me. From me. Alright guys, I'll see see you all next time.